Let's now go to the acting Homeland Security Secretary, uh, Kevin McAleenan, who is with us, his department oversees FEMA and the Coast Guard. Mr. Secretary, good afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity. Good afternoon, Shepard. Glad to join you. When you look across the swath of Florida up into Georgia and the Carolinas, what do you see and what is your message for people in those areas? Absolutely. You just watch your viewers through the entire coastline. They're, they're worried about being affected by this storm. Uh, Hurricane Dorian is now moving, uh, moving about two miles an hour northwest. Uh, we just went through a full brief at the National Response Coordination Center here at FEMA uh, with all the state emergency managers. Uh, everybody is very well prepared for the storm. They've been working on evacuations for several days now. They got out in front of it. 27 counties, 6 million people affected. Uh, and we've got a ton of assets, supplies, and resources, shelters, uh, all state standing by uh, for any impacts from the storm along that coastline that you showed. Mr. Secretary, when's the last time you spoke with the president on this matter and how would you characterize that conversation? Yeah, so the president came right here to FEMA headquarters and hosted about half the cabinet uh, and did a full briefing uh, on the status, on the preparations, on the, the federal interagency support uh, to the states. Uh, we had the emergency managers and governors on uh, from Florida, Georgia, South and North Carolina. And I think, you know, making sure we're all on the same page and ready to go, I'll be briefing them again tomorrow uh, on the storm and, and its impacts along with our FEMA uh, leadership team. Uh, so he's very engaged in this. If you look at his Twitter feed, he's pushing out all of the information that, that, that FEMA headquarters is sending out, that the National Hurricane Center uh, is publishing on the forecast, uh, making sure that, that all of his uh, followers are, are up to speed on what's happening with the storm. And we really want people to be paying attention. Secretary McAleenan, if there's one thing that in parting people who were in the way of this storm should know, what would you like to tell them? I'd like to tell them not to get complacent. Uh, just because the current track shows it staying off the coast of Florida in most models, that does not mean that we're not going to see <laughs> tropical storm force winds or even hurricane winds lashing the coast. Uh, and as it heads up toward uh, Georgia and South Carolina, we could still face a landfall. Uh, and any movement off that track uh, to the west uh, could be a very different situation. It's still a very powerful storm, 110 mile an hour, uh, sustained winds. Uh, and the wind field has actually expanded. Uh, we're going to see a broader impact as the storm has grown. Uh, so I want people to, to stay on their, on their toes uh, and be very wary of this storm. And we'll keep following it. Secretary McAleenan, your uh, Department of Homeland Security also over immigration. It's been in the news a lot lately. How would you, are you in lockstep agreement with the president on immigration policy? So we're implementing a broad agenda to secure the border, to address the humanitarian crisis, uh, and to tighten our, our immigration enforcement across the board. We've issued a number of, of key regulations uh, that are going to help us do that, uh, and also uh, making big progress on applying border resources at our immediate border, and of course working with Mexico and Central American partners uh, to address this flow, which is really a regional crisis and a regional phenomenon. Yeah, well understood. The question was, are you in lockstep with the president on immigration? And I ask, as you know, because of the rollout of the replacement from the, from the Flores Agreement, uh, which now says that the United States can hold children for more than 20 days with their parents in federal custody. Uh, when that rollout happened, you didn't do it at the White House, but somewhere else, and in, inside the White House, there were a lot of pushback on the way you handled things. And I wondered if that's because you disagree with the president on this policy. Absolutely not. Uh, we've been working on the Flores regulation for over a year. I uh, had over 100,000 comments, and we wanted to get that out as absolutely as quickly as possible because it's instrumental in ensuring the integrity of the system. Uh, if you're forced to release people not before they go through an immigration proceeding, uh, you can't create any integrity in the process or any deterrent. So we absolutely needed Flores out. I announced it at a DHS facility, and it's a DHS uh, rule, the main components of it, uh, and that was perfectly appropriate. Are you concerned of that the United States is holding children for extended periods of time? Uh, in many cases, children who have not done anything wrong except come with their parents as instructed. So, so first of all, unaccompanied children that are arriving, now that we got the emergency supplemental funding from Congress, which we had asked for way back on May 1st, we got it about two months later, we've been able to, with our Health and Human Services partners, move children out in less than 24 hours from the border. So children are not waiting at border stations uh, any longer. For family units, uh, right now they're, they're acti actually going into the migrant protection protocols, or if they don't have uh, a, a claim of asylum being repatriated, uh, the, the remainder are being released to wait 
for an immigration proceeding. What we'd like to do with the Flores reg is actually uh, maintain custody at a family residential center through an immigration proceeding, just like the Obama administration did, just like the family residential centers were created for. Uh, that takes about 40 to 50 days on average in our past experience, and that's how you have integrity in the system. These are campus-like settings. Uh, they have educational, recreational, dining, medical uh, facilities, as well yeah. as the courts there right on site. So uh, they're an appropriate place uh, to manage an immigration process. You're the acting Secretary of Homeland Security. Would you like the permanent job? Uh, I'm honored to be serving in this role. We're solving problems. We're making uh, a lot of progress. Uh, and as you see with the people behind me, the, the kind of great Americans that are here uh, to get ready for a storm like this, to protect uh, the, the American people and, and address any response needs of these states, it's a true honor to work alongside them. Secretary McLeanan, many thanks. Uh, all the best to the people on the coast, and thanks to the people there who are doing such great work for, for our folks.